streams. Um, it's because I ha I'm alone and I haven't spoken to anyone all day. Well, no, that's not true. I've been speaking to people, just not a lot. All right, let's start off the celebration. Hello, hello. Let's hold a ceremony. I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. <gasps> Thank you for the bits, Noon Cruel. Your hair is so pretty. Did you dye it at home? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not during the quarantine, though. Now then, welcome to our dedicated ceremony honoring Kalani, Kalani's brand new museum. Yay! Thank you! Kalani truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. And now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers, who will be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of Kalani, once again I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed, indeed overjoyed, by the marvelous esta establishment we are opening here today. Whew! This could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I'm the only one. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It sure has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brim brimming with wonder. I say, I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Now let's have a few words from someone whose contributions made the museum possible. I'm talking about Mari, our resident representative. Anything to add? We're amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Mari. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press this button. Yes, well then. With hope of our continued growth and to celebrate Kalani's beautiful museum. Hooray! Yay! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care of your way home. I am someone who had to start teaching remotely as an acquired taste. Oh, it must be hard. I say, I have a test tomorrow and I'm over it. Yeah. I'm having a hard time doing schoolwork too, where I'm like, uh, the world's ending? Uh, the world's not ending. That was a joke. I shouldn't have joked about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I also don't really want to do my schoolwork right now. <laughs> but life goes on, and we still have to keep living our lives, even if we're in quarantine or lockdown or whatever. Life goes on, but we're not, we're not out there. We're in here. We're in Animal Crossing, where nothing can get us anymore. Come on, fishy. I caught a red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. Ah, my fishing pole broke. I just wanted to show everyone that I finally got the 30 iron to do the new workshop. And I wanted to show everyone the new ceremony. Also, I was able to get some bamboo from a weird place and some peaches from my boyfriend's island. So things are going, getting uh, pretty good around the island and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just going to run around. Don't, don't taunt me. You... Little thing. I don't have a slingshot yet. But hopefully, once the shop opens, I'll be able to make bridges. And that'll help a lot. 
I want my house to look like this. I don't know how to make it look like that. There's a beautiful butterfly. Boyfriend perks. Getting peaches in AC. We haven't seen each other in a while. In a while. Uh, he's very careful and I am very happy that he's very careful. We're probably not going to see each other for a long time. I mean, he's 45 minutes away. But why risk making him come over here or risk me coming to him? You know, I love him enough to not see him. You know, I don't I don't want to take any risks. I want him to to be safe. What did I sell that was so valuable just now? Yeah, you can do other stuff virtually. Yeah, I'm just gonna sh send them booby pics or something. I don't know. I wish I could craft things in stacks. That would actually be really helpful. Oh, the red snapper is really valuable? Oh, cool. I wish that when I when I had things in my oh just I wish I had things in my inventory it would tell me if it was already been in the museum because it's hard for me to mentally keep note of all that. After this I am going to cheat and we will go on to the next day cuz we're going this is a time traveling let's play. Let's see what else. I was also able to get a bunch of bamboo and plant bamboo trees, so I'm very excited about that. Someone said they want to see what this looked like, so I'm going to work on trying to get that done too. I caught about five tarantulas the other day and sold them for 30,000 bells. Where is everyone getting tarantulas? I would like a tarantula simply because I think they're cute. Oh, and I was able to plant a money tree right here. Very excited about it. Alright, time to, um, cheat. My friend keeps dying to tarantulas. Has my house changed since last stream? Yes, it's gotten bigger. I should, I should focus a lot more on decorating my house. I'm just having a... There's just so many things to do. <laughs> the Nook Islands. You buy tickets from the machine in Nook Miles and I just got lucky. I haven't gotten any. I have gone to so many Nook Islands trying to get the um, iron. And it just it ain't doing it, man. Okay, system. Date and time. So, my boyfriend is in the future, and he's in April, and they got he's got all kinds of different bugs. So, I can't wait to get into April to see all the new bugs and fish. Can we come to your island? Um, I have my doors opened for people to come to my island. My only worry is that if I show people the code to get into my island, trolls will come and, like, ruin everything. So, I prefer if, like... I didn't let people on my island. It's not against you guys particularly. I'm just afraid that there's going to be trolls who kind of do it. you have any new villagers yet? Not yet. I have invited two of them to come over, but they haven't shown up yet. Kalani is a safe space. Yes. So I'm not suggesting how to duplicate, but I can show you n how not to do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to duplicate. I think the only cheat I really want right now is time travel because if I haven't cheat too much I'll break the game for myself and it won't be as fun okay what's the announcement today Nook? hello everyone this is Tom Nook it's blah 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 I named my island Bossing Se <laughs> there is nothing wrong in Bossing Se 
If you guys haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender, the first one, not Korra, Legend of Korra, um, and you have nothing to do, I highly recommend Avatar The Last Airbender. It holds up. It is a solid show. It just every aspect. The first episode you might be like, oh, it's just a standard cartoon. No. It is... And I really love Gem in the uh, St Steven Universe. I think it's better than Steven Universe. It's a small shop, but, but they'll change. And also, if you're looking for something gay, The Legend of Korra canonically ends with a woman-woman relationship. Just saying, main character, bisexual canon, ends up with a woman. Oh, thank you for the bits, group part. So I did a study, and they gave me $25 Amazon e-gift card, and I guess that completed series I bought. Oh, yay! Uh, I cried at the ending of Legend of Korra. Ah, yay! Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your items. Ah, one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with all that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's cranny. By the way, we will be holding a special Commander of Ceremony soon, as usual. Stop at Resident Services if you'd like to participate. Oh dear, never fails. Of course this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Ah, uh, one moment please. Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook & Company, yes. What, what, the getaway package? Why, yes, 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 of course! Are we gonna get a new villager? And that's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Ah, so sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full review of the... Do, 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 little feety, little feeties. True story, I bossing I binge She-Ra after the first season of Hoo-Ha Hoo Started Shooting Rainbows. After the, Oh, your Hoo-Ha Started Shooting Rainbows. <laughs> How gay is She-Ra? I haven't watched it yet. Mail. Dodo Airlines. Just wanted to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom uh, custom Dal merch. Nifty, right? I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips, just the way my grandpa used to. I don't care about turnips. Alright, this is my home. It's nothing fancy yet, but I feel like it, uh, you know, I got a washing machine. It works. I got my little fish. A dowel t-shirt that I don't want. Oh yeah, I got this because I thought it would look cute. I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of neat. I wonder if I can... Hold on. Can I actually like go up in and slide it? No. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it outside and I'll see a villager use it or something. Uh, Greer Parker says, I do not do the duplication sheet, but I most definitely can say that no one should ask me how to do it in the chat. <laughs> oh, hello. Do you know about reactions? I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own like I'm doing now? Okay, that was kind of weird, but that's reactions for you. They're all about getting emotions across. Want to try re <coughs> reactions for yourself? Just hit ZR. Do you know blah, 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 blah. Oh, I've unlocked reactions. Joy. 
Thank you for the bits of grouper. How are you doing? Has has the want for bangs increased, decreased? About the same. What about Stacy? Is she bald yet? Uh, Stacy and I are going strong. You don't need to worry about us. We are safe and we have food and we have shelter and that is the best thing you can ask for in a time like this. Um, my desire for bangs grows every day. I keep looking in the mirror thinking, can my face support bangs? Would I do a good job giving myself bangs? Is this a good idea? And the answer is no, it's definitely not a good idea, but yet I want to do it. Oh, I have all the fruit now. Yay! Do you have oranges yet? I can try and send you some. I now have all of the fruit. I have all the fruit on my island now. I'm trying to spread out the trees because I really don't like it when the trees are too clumped together. I don't know, it kind of stresses me out. I'm planning on kind of thinning out the, out the trees because it does... I don't know. It, it stresses me out. <laughs> me too, though. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh my god, there's so many weeds over here. This is stressing me out too. I'm gonna have to spend a few hours in bed just cleaning out all the weeds. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna thin out the cherry trees for sure. Because I know this is a, originally a cherry tree island, so I can, uh... I can fix that later on. I just want to make sure I have plentiful enough of all the fruits, simply because that's what I want. I'm gonna eat it. Taking this cherry tree, because I know for a fact that it is a cherry tree. There is no stress in AC, only happiness. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting stressed about this. I gotta chill out. What would you guys like to see me do next? I hope that my neighbors come soon. Oh, we gotta go to the new shop now. Sorry, I was just doing a quick circle around the island. Ah, here's my bamboo growing. Very proud of it. I collected... Ooh, here's some good place to grow some trees later on. There seems to be a big fish in this pond. I hope it's a new fish. Probably not, but if not, that's okay because... There's only happy little, happy little accidents. Okay, well, screw you, fish. Whee! It's literally on your head. <sighs> no! Do you see it? <gasps> he sees it. Oh, I can make a money tree. Hold on. Have you redeemed any of your miles for pocket or tool wheel upgrade? I have. I have done that. See? And see? So now I can make a money tree. Someone in the chat yesterday explained to me that I could do that. So you get money, right? Out of the ground, and now it's glowing. And I was like, why does it glow? Oh, that's weird. And if you take 10,000 bells, and you plant it, There, you have a money tree, and it'll grow, and I, I assume it makes money? Yeah, I know, everyone's like, what? 
<laughs> so whoever gave me that tip yesterday, thank you very much. Oops, wrong button. There's so many things to do now. I'm very happy about that. When you have to hold your breath while fishing. No! Eat it. Just trying to get rid of some cherry trees. Now I can tap this rock. And remember, do not eat fruit before hitting the rocks because it destroys the rocks. I had to find that out the hard way. Oops. I've been saving all of my clay. I haven't seen a reason to have it yet, but seems like a good idea to save the clay. Ah, so money does grow from trees. It's true, they, it does. Oh, oh, by the way, I found out an, another trick. Okay, so you hear that sound? That little cricket sound? Ta-da! If you hear that sound, try and get as close to the source as, it, as you can. It was driving me absolutely nuts that I couldn't find where the sound was coming from. It's from the ground! Hi, CZ42. Hi. Let's head over to the museum, get these appraised. Ooh. Need a cherry. Just trying to cut down on the cherry trees because it does... I do like wide open spaces. <clears throat> but with a diversity of flora. I wonder if I can donate trees. That'd be cool if I could donate trees to the museum and then I have a little tree area. Rocks do respawn if you if they're destroyed, but it takes a while, so. I wonder if anyone's playing in a southern hemisphere area and then I can go to their island and get all their fishing bugs. <gasps> Thank you for the 200 bits, Grip Parker. I got an island filled with tarantulas the first dodo flight I took and I was dying so much. Oh, do they like kill you? I just want the tarant- why would they attack you? They're- in real life tarantulas just want to be like pet. The great thing about um, the fossils is that if you have dupes, you can just sell them and they sell for so much and I love it. I'm trying to save it up so that when I finally go look at the thing again, it's going to be filled with fossils. So, I'm happy about that. Ooh. 
Reaction ruler. You learned a reaction. Yay! I have enough to make get two tickets to go on different islands. So maybe we'll go find some islands soon. Let's look and see if Tom... Where's the shop? Ah, here it is. Looks cranny. Let's see what they got for sale. <gasps> they have a little pink record player? Hello? Yes, thanks. I would like that. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice, even though we haven't been here all that long. In just a short time, Blathers has moved in and we're able to open up this shop. Experience new things every day has been a lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check on you all and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come with us, visit us. Oh, hey, I think... Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having this shop could make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that. But, we still need a clothing supplier. Something tells me that today is your lucky day. I'm watching my friends who have stacks and stacks of things to fill in the museum when it opens. Aww. How about if I stop by every, every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. As well as with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please, do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Oh my god, my hair is kind of greasy on stream. Sorry. <clears throat> Thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor of a shop our beloved president, Nook, used to run. Dude, fearless leader, president... Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as de can be blah, blah blah blah. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. Uh, this, please, immediately give it to me. Yes, I'll buy it. Thank you. This is going in my house right now. Can I get multiples or something? Oh my god, I'm going to be such a basic bitch. Oh my god. Yes. Next thing you know, I'll be filling a glass of ice water and be like, Oh my god, that's all I need. Let's see. Oh, we can buy tools. That could make things a lot less annoying. Party popper. What's this? Cedar sapling. Hmm. DIY for beginners, test your DIY skills, sapling, white wrapping paper, eh. Slingshot recipe, heck yes. Thank you for the bits, Noon Kunal. My laptop is making weird noises, see you soon. But what if it's Evian? <laughs> Vaulting pole. Fishing boat flag.
Oh, right. With our new shop come three new services. First, let's talk turnips. I don't care about the turnip market. I don't care about the turnip market. It reminds me of stocks. I don't care. It's capitalist bullshit. I don't want to do it. The hot item will change every day. I don't care. I don't care about this. It's too much stress to... I, it's too stressful. There's a handling fee and we don't accept turnips and the hot items will just sell for the regular price. I want to sell. Dinosaur bones. This thing. This. This. And rocks. And this fish. You gotta press R to see wallpaper and floor stuff. Ah, okay. <gasps> oh! Thank you for the tip! I thought it was just regular wallpaper. But now we got all kind of pink shanty wall. Blue diner wall. That looks kind of cute. What kind of vibe do I want? Okay, I'm gonna buy this one. Brown botanical tile wall. I like it. And this one. Nope. Wait, I want... Do you guys have any carpets? Oh, these are the tile options. There we go. Hi, Lemon Z. I wish I had ch hot chocolate while watching. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of hard to go outside and do impulse things. Let's go to my beach house. What? Hmm. I don't have any songs? How do I get songs? Oh man. Hmm. Let's see. What else we got? <gasps> Ooh, that feels good. That fit makes my brain go, mmm. Pink shanty wall. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. That kind of looks like a little boho. Little. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. Ooh, this looks kind of eclectic. And if I want to put just like random things in my house, it'll make more sense. This looks nice. I like it. I like it. I like this, but it's a little too dark. It's a little too dark for me and my vibe right now. I'm going to go with, what do you get? I think pink shanty wall looks cute, but I also really like blue diner. I think I'm going to go with Blue Diner for now because it kind of like goes with my whole like, I'm just picking up whatever I got vibe, you know? I'm going to 
put my Nintendo Switch here. I need more, you know what I need more of? I need more tables to put things on. Oh, got to put my fra fragrance diffuser in here because I'm very basic. I wonder if I can put it on top of my... Ah, I can't. I can't put it on top of my fish. I will put it next to my mirror. Oh, look at that. I'm so basic. Yes! Okay, alright. I need to get more tables and stuff. I actually, this is making my serotonin flow. There's definitely definite serotonin flowing things happening. Everything else go in storage in case I, I want to change my designs. Living for that vintage record player. It's actually not vintage. You can get that record player these days. It's actually very hip and in to have that record player. Why are you looking at me, Ocelot? Yo, when Tom Nook gonna teach me how to make a bridge and a ladder? How do I unlock that? I just, I would like that, please. Can I, willing to buy ladder, please, so I can get to different parts of islands? Mari's character is an urban outfitter's Tumblr girl, and I ain't mad. Me neither. I'm just happy. I'm just having a good time. I'm gonna eat these cherries. Bridge and ladder are specific buildings, new homes for pe specifically building new homes for people. What? Oops! If you miss a bee, they're just gone, dude. They just they just dip. As soon as I entered the lives, my eyes drifted to Mari's forehead looking for possible bangs. <laughs> I know. W welcome to Bang Watch, Bangs Watch 2020. When will Mari give in? I don't think I'll... At this point, I feel like maybe I, I, I will be able to resist the urge to get bangs. I feel strong. Uh, I feel like I am capable of resisting the bangs. Uh, depending on how many... How long uh, we will be in social isolation? Uh, bangs might be happening. 
they might end up being turf looking bangs, but we can we can fight it. We can fight turfdom with bangs one day at a time. I might actually look like Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah, probably. Actually, it's it's gonna happen. The wheels are in motion. <laughs> uh, how's island life going so far? I am having a blast. I'm happy. I'm relaxed. I haven't gotten bangs yet. If it wasn't for Animal Crossing, I would probably have bangs. So I am gr grateful to to the fact that uh, bangs are not a threat right now. So right, let's drop these off in the basket so I don't have to talk to anybody. Ooh, I like it tells me the price for everything, and so I don't have to stress out about it. I don't want this stupid t-shirt. I've made a little vibe area over here. I'm hoping to, uh... Mari's still fighting the urge for bangs. My best friend just took an, in a stray cat and gave birth in their house. I've been playing Fire Emblem for a week straight. We're all just doing the best we can, aren't we? We're all just doing the best we can. Wait. Why won't it let me... Hmm. Huh. Maybe it's for indoor use only? Oops. Why can't I use it? I want to use it. All right. Well, here's my vibe area. You know, sit, come here. I'm on the beach. Sit, sit in it. Sit. What? Well, I'll pretend to sit in it. Gosh. Me shaking my head at people getting stir crazy in isolation before remembering my life before this was like isolation since my friends are overseas, so, so all interaction is online. <laughs> <coughs> I try not to talk about, I mean, everyone can talk about whatever they want, but for me, I know a lot of people are having a hard time adjusting, and it's a lot harder for p other people than it is for me, so I try not to talk about it too much because. I don't know, everyone's having a hard time adjusting, and I just want everyone to be happy. By the way, this is a time travel let's play, so soon I will be time traveling to the next day. Oh, gotta save those. Uh, this. The squid looks so different. Can it be fully enjoyed without time travel? Yeah, of course it can be. I'm just impatient and terrible. It's a hanging on wall kind of thing. Alright, alright, alright. Ah, oh, that 
that's nice. Oh yeah, this I'm gonna go for a everything is weird kind of vibe. <laughs> They sell for less in the box, but I also don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> I also don't want to walk all the way in there and be like, hey, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to grab some tickets, and then we're going to time travel to the next day. And then we'll go island adventuring and unlock new things. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set your move in data at a later time. No, no, no. No trouble at all. I just need to draw off the proper contracts. Understood? We'll get back to you very soon. Thank you. Mari, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you ever heard that I call that call I just got? For some time now, I've been advertising the Kalani Getaway Package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. That's great. Yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful except for one minor detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. But, Mari, here you are in my hour of need. It most certainly must be fate. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Of course. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. Um, well, first I'm going to get some tickets. A tarantula is 8,000 bells in the box. It's 6,200 bells. I'm willing to take that sacrifice in order to not have to walk in there and go through all the dialogue. How do I unlock? Because I know you can unlock 40 slots, but I don't know how to do that. Hmm, maybe I should unlock the hairstyles, but I really like my wig right now, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna make a slingshot. So it appears after a while it's 8,000 miles to upgrade it. Oh, okay. Oh, I need hardwood. Alright, dude. Tell me what I need to do. What should I do? Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry we'll run out of space on land that's easily accessible. The bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction, hmm? So, that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base. Get your DIY skills ready. Then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge, too. Uh, and done! Just sent you a recipe, blah blah blah, once you assembled your bridge, construction kit, find a good spot for the bridge, and good. Oh, we need clay, stone, and log stakes. Log stakes. Alright, good thing I saved all the clay.
Not only do I have to do all the work for these houses, but I don't even see a darn bell after all my work. <laughs> All right, time to hit all the trees. Mari's back is in constant pain from carrying all the island activities for Tom. Big true, big true. <laughs> oh no! All my tools! Oh wait, I can just go buy them! Uh, <laughs> I can buy them now without having to worry about it. Me stands outside the tent with a picket sign that says, Nook the Crook, enchanting residential service is unfair. Tom Nook is in there. <laughs> Why buy when you can make it? Well, because I'm lazy. You know what? Let's go to an island so this is at least a little more exciting. Teach a man to fish and he'll buy the fish because of convenience. <laughs> yeah. Time for takeoff. Let's get you airborne. Tom's baby's walking around with a chunk. <laughs> yeah, with their butts uncovered, yeah. I'm the little, I'm the little flappy li bird arms. <gasps> Look at this girl. Great to meet you. How are you? I'm Bubbles. Welcome to my hypertastic island getaway. Okay, it's not my island, but it will be. I want to be a popster in all popsters' own islands. So you're Mari from Kalani. Fab. I love meeting new folks, aka new fans. 
The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner calm and hug is as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, hipster, I'd be the calm's most relaxed hippo pop star you ever met. Want to live on my island? Oh my gosh, this is more exciting than fifth cup of coffee. You live on Kalani, right? This is so weird. I legit applied to move there a while back. What a crazy quinky dink hipster. We're going to hang out all the time once I'm living on Kalani. Maybe you shouldn't come. People fucking Animal Crossing. They always got their pussies out. What do you think? It's like so not. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Last night I couldn't sleep a wink. Just laid there staring at the moon. Bam, this recipe hit me. And now you and only you get to reap the benefits of my brilliance. It's time to become a DIY legend. Basement flooring. Ugh. <laughs> kind of creepy. Huh. Okay. Let's upgrade this axe real quick. If it's really was platonic, why can't our character be naked, huh? You know what? That looks terrible. Never mind. See, not naked. True. I I have been crushed and no longer can trust society. We need regular wood, and how many wood do we need for the uh, stone clay log stakes? So we need so four log stakes, three times four is twelve, so we need four regular woods. Give me regular wood! Regular wood! Regular wood. No hardwood? They appear in each other's dreams like, okay, what? What if they frick telepathically? Like, you mean like in Demolition Man? <laughs>
I just need regular wood. I don't need no fancy wood. I just need regular wood. Give me the regular wood. I guess I could save the other wood for later. Can I steal this? No. I think I think Animal Crossing is a Peter Pan scenario where it's a place dead kids go and nobody fucks because it's all creatures from children's dreams. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> that sounds like a game theorist theory where he's like, actually everyone's dead and also I'm gonna make racist jokes. And you're like, MatPad, can you please calm down? Like, every time I see a MatPad video, it's like vaguely weirdly racist and I don't know why he does it. Like, it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> uh... His latest video about the coronavirus was racist, and also I genuinely thought the video he made about Wakanda was like the thumbnail actually that he made for the his Wakanda video. I was like, dude, it's Black History Month. What is your problem? Let's see. Oh, we got twelve. Oh. Wait. I need two more woods. Any trees not tapped? Any trees not tapped? Oh. Um. By the way, I don't want to, like, talk too much shit. That's just my personal experience with seeing his stuff being like, what is wrong with you? Ugh. Do you give you ever give me hardwood or regular wood? I mean hardwood or softwood and I would like regular wood please. Hmm. Hmm. Ready to go home. <laughs> Softwood, also known as semi. Sorry if I'm not informed about this, but what if we make fan art where we can send it so the girls can see it? Oh, where? What if we make fan art? Where can we? Send? Oh, send it to us on Twitter. That's usually where we're both most active. I don't go on Tumblr anymore because everyone always bullies me. I get bullied by teenagers on Twitter on. Tumblr. It's too sad. <laughs> oh, people are watching Animal Crossing on Twit on YouTube. If you hold the A button while holding the net, it makes you sneak instead. Thank you, Jacob Risinger. Any implication that the animals in Animal Crossing fuck is illegal and I will be contacting the, the Nintendo police. <laughs> you guys are great.
I hope you get around to drawing something too, Uwemiya. What's everyone doing today on this fine Sunday afternoon? I looked outside and it was snowing slightly. And I was like, what? How can it be snowing this t at this time? Alright, let's go make the bridge. I'm thinking... North. There's a big clearing over here. Okay. Yay! It's Mother's Day in the UK, so we had a nice dinner and made a cake for my brother. The cake. My brother couldn't make it because self isolation, so we got to make a walnut cake as he's allergic. Ha ha ha! <laughs> got him! <laughs> Assess this! Oops! Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Iguanodon torso. Superb, indeed. Splendid. A rare fossil we do not yet have in our collection. Yes. Sure. Please. That graceful ballerina of the Cretaceous, the Iguanodon. When I say it was graceful, I mean by the, ahem, rather low bar set by other large herbivores. Apparently, it would nimbly dodge the attacks of predators and fight back with its thumb claws. It would even walk on two legs when it wanted to, or truly it was the most elegant and lithe of dinosaurs. Lithe? Lithe? <coughs> What I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm fine. Now let's bravely go into the next day. The Animal Crossing talking noises are the most soothing things in the world. I miss going to the library, says Blue Rose. Getting a little high and making oatmeal cookies, but replacing the raisins with chalky chips. I'm pretty sure that's just a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, but with oatmeal in it. That's a good idea. I want ribs. I was a lovely sunny day, did some work in the library, did a big clean of the house, and packed my suitcase to go home tomorrow. I started doing a 3D Harry Potter puzzle, and I think my brain turned to jelly. Playing New Leaf and watching. Taking a break from my homework. Walnut cake sounds. Ooh, animal. Ca I'm gonna make some tofu stir fry at 10 p.m. Oh, good for you. I heard your tent finally hit the gym and bulked up into a house. Congrats, Flexin. I'm thinking I might drop some time to check on your freeway situation. Keep an eye out. I should check out their houses and see how it looks. We'll do that tomorrow. But, like, we're still playing. <laughs> it's time to time travel.
Maddo Sank says, I'm craving donuts. I feel like everyone's gonna have a lot of cravings this next coming weeks, and uh, we're all just gonna have to learn how to make them. <laughs> Thankfully, I got two big bags of animal cookies before the, everything shut down, so I am set and ready. Time to cheat, cheat, cheat. We're going into the future. All residents, all passengers, please put your hands and legs inside the moving platform as we go into the future. Go into the future. Go into the future. I closed the game, but thank you for reminding me. Oh yeah, being puppy cat is free on YouTube the whole first season, and it's chill and vibe. You just sit there and you're like, ah. <laughs> I went to Greece to visit my aunts, and they've tried some donuts that were full of cream inside. There are so many types too. They're the best donuts I ever had. Creamfield donuts, huh? I've had those. I mean, is that different than other ones? Puppy cat is me, moody and protective. <laughs> I like that part in the show where they, um, where they have all the animals' inner thoughts, and one of the animals is a crab who's just obsessed with cleavage. <laughs> There's really not much news today, so instead I share some valuable tips about Kalani living. I'd like to share a little info that might just improve your quality of life here on the island. With folks with that, I'm going to be stylish even on a deserted island mindset will want a closet or wardrobe. As long as you have one set up in your home, you can use it to change your entire outfit easily. Enjoy a little fashion show of your own at home to develop your style, then share it with the world. That's all for me. Bye now. Look, there's a clothing stand. We can get clothes. I'm so excited. No Rossetti? Yeah, no Rossetti doesn't stop us. Here we are in the future. It's a speed run, guys. My phone is ringing. Hello? This is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. I've reached Mari, right? We've sent a payment to your bank for a fourth out. Okay, alright. Can you could have just texted me that, dude? Just text me next time. I don't want to talk. Look, my bamboo is growing. Let's go see what clothes we got going on. I'm excited. Hi there! Oh, right. Didn't I see you at the store a while back? I knew I'd look familiar. No wonder. No worries if you forgot, but my name's Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy. Tom, 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 Nook. Here we go way back. Anyway, that's how I le learned to heard about Kalani and came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to open my own shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. I'll try to stop a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, alright? <coughs> hey, oh hey, since you're like right here, you wanna see the stuff I'm selling today? I'd love to look. Great! Let me just open up today's catalog for you. Alright. Hideous. Ultra no-show socks. 
Maxi shirt dress. Um. I hate it all. I hate all of these. Maybe the maxi shirt dress? I'll buy it. What do you mean secretly? I own that. <laughs> Maybe I'll get this hat for later. Wait, hold on, it's coming together. All right, yeah, this this kind of this kind of slaps. Yes, they're all naked under the apron. I watched a video about that Mabel and Tom were very close, but he got scammed, so he became bitter and ashamed, so he pushed Mabel from him. That's when he started his company. Hello, how's Mari the present? I know, I know. Mari, no, I don't have a slingshot, and I don't feel like getting it. Thanks to you, Clown, he has its very own bridge. Our little island has come so far. Yes, yes. This should make it easier to prepare homes for the new gateway package participants. Hmm? There are, of course, more tasks I need you help with. When you have a moment, ask me what should I do, and I'll fill you in on the details. One more thing. I'd like to hold a ceremony to commemorate our new bridge today. Let me know if you want to take part. We're doing a ceremony. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Kalani's brand new bridge. Thank you. I feel like this new bridge is a turning point for the development of our once deserted island. I do hope we can continue making great strides to improve the quality of life in this precious community. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press O. Yes, well then, with hope for a continued growth to celebrate Kalani's beautiful bridge, hooray! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Tom Nook takes credit for all your work. <laughs> Big true. Clap, everyone. <laughs> Please clap. Let's get all the ceremonies out of the way. Are you open to an illicit fruit trade deal over the dot dodo code? Oh no. I'm kind of just like keeping my Animal Crossing experience off stream just like just me and and close people. <laughs> Thank you. 
but now, it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the New Nook's Cranny. Timmy, Tommy, would you please? Thank you, Kalani. Because of you, we've opened the proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. Yes, yes, thank you both. Thank you. A few words from someone who made very many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's cranny built. Of course, I mean Mari, our resident representative. Anything to add? Woo! Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Mari. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a certain blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you want to pet them so bad. <laughs> See what new things they have at the shop. Oh. How do I get more music? Hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Um, I can get a urinal. Okay, maybe not. Soothing tea room. I want. How do I look at it? Colorful mosaic tile flooring. I kind of like that. Let's go ask Tom Nick what we gotta do next. Gotta do next. But the urinal, urinal is modern art. <laughs> Mari, what new villagers did you get? Um, a hippo and a weird looking guy with a nose. And I can't remember what else. Let's ask Tom what we got to do next. Hopefully he'll tell me how to make a ladder. <laughs> Housing kits. Okay. You can build everything DIY still, so let me know. So we gotta give... Okay, we gotta make houses. We gotta furnish the houses. I think that's all for me. Thanks for your help. Wait, you're not even paying me for this, dude. Hold on a second. Am I slave labor? What's going on here? How much longer do you think you'll stream for, Mari? Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just winging it. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just doing me. End game goal is to get Pietro and all the penguin villagers. Mari realizes she's getting scammed. The movie. <laughs> My end game goal is to get all the doggo villagers. My, one of my friends has a wall with a urinal in it that, and a sign that says nice penis. <laughs> Everybody wants to pet the characters.
Here's a good spot. Hello? That you, Mari? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. We want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set up the plots for all three homes and placed the required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Trying to make sure I don't accidentally put it on top of things that I want to be here. Because <laughs> I can't remember which trees are which. Oops. Well, that's why I put, spaced everything out so much. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. Lucille, you need to get a wreath from some flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing up in the cliffs on the island, so... Sent you a recipe for a ladder! It's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Anywho, keep the good work, hmm? Yes! We got a ladder recipe. Alright. Uh, we'll do it here. Not comfortable with the trees disappearing. I'm sorry. What do I need for a ladder? I need regular wood. Let's go see if I have any regular wood at home. And if not, we'll go farm the trees. Mario mow your lawn challenge. I don't have any wood. Oh no. Okay. I love how wood, just regular wood, is the hardest resource to find. I don't have any chatbots activated. I really gotta do a better job with being, like, a streamer. I'm sorry, guys. so wholesome. Good, I'm glad that you like it.
What would you guys like me to see me do in this game? Am I doing everything that you want to see? Do you feel happy? <gasps> I can plant more money trees! Maybe I can... Maybe I can dig it up and then give it to my boyfriend. That would make him happy. Money tree. I thought the generator and smoker would do something, but apparently they don't do anything. <gasps> There's a new beetle net right there. Hold on. A stink bug. It lives up to its name. Let's make another ladder. We'll drop off this new bug to the guy. I just want to see you make a ladder and see where you got from there. Yay, ladder! Everyone's excited about the ladder. Good vibes. I enjoy your streams the most because it's very calming and chat is amazing. Yeah, I'm glad that we have such a well-behaved chat. You guys are always so good. You guys are really good. I for sometimes forget and then I go to someone else's stream and I'm like, oh, It's terrible here. Why are people like this? <laughs> so you guys are always so good. And funny and nice. Actually, it's a step ladder. Ah. Uh. I dare say the name is, it says it all. Stink bugs are known for their stench. Whew, P.U. As it happens, these crop-eating pests use, use straw-like mouths to pierce plants and drink the juices. And when threatened, they use a smelly chemical in their belly to release their odorous odor. Oh, how do they lift themselves? Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. <laughs> Donate. This owl is so mean to bugs, I don't feel like they're going to be safe with them. <laughs> you attract the energy you put out and that's all look great because you're great. Oh, thank you. Assholes don't want to hang out around here because we're not assholes. True. You guys should never play World of Warcraft on with me though. I'm so toxic on there. <laughs> But you know what makes me so deadly on World of Warcraft is that I never use any sort of like derogatory terms. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so mean. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Wait, what happened? Thank you for hosting, Sailorado. 
Start making up facts about the users when they donate bits like Blathers does. <laughs> That's a good idea. Blathers used to talk about how to cook fish to make good meals whenever you donated them. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say, oh yeah, in World of Warcraft, uh, there was somebody who kept like ganking my guild and being really weird about it. So I did the most horrible thing a girl can do to a nerd on World of Warcraft. I called him weird. And I also called him baby. And like, my boyfriend. But he thought I was a guy. Because there's like a Discord for. PvP on my server. He thought I was a guy. So he was terrified. He was like mad that I was like hitting on him because I was a guy and like getting furious. And then someone else goes, You know, she's a girl, right? And he's like, What? He's like, And everyone's like, Yeah, she's a girl. She's been killing you and be beating you. And she's a girl. And she's like making fun of you. This guy deserved it. He was so mean to everyone. So I was like, now's my time. And so I like basically did psychological warfare on this man. And now he does not talk shit anymore. And when he sees me, he runs away. <laughs> I'm not even PvP spec. He just sees me and starts running. <laughs> I go out in the world with my raid gear on and a P and raid spec. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> I destroyed his ego. I feel like it's okay because he, his inherent homophobia. And I was like, oh, you're not worried. You're not bothered that I'm like flirting with you to tease you. You're bothered because you're worried about a man hitting on you. Even though there's no difference between a man and a woman like bothering you. And as soon as you found out it was a woman, suddenly it changes, and you don't want, like, I don't know. It was stupid. But anyway, I'm kind of horribly toxic on World of Warcraft. Because I never use slurs. I never use derogatory terms. I just commit psychological warfare. <laughs> <laughs> People are always like, oh, I, I say bad words. And I'm like, what are we, 15? Okay? No. If you want to really destroy your enemy, you wait. You listen. You listen. You think. And then you destroy them on a deep, deep level. Because there's no reason to bring people's race or gender or sexuality in something. No. You judge them for who they are and what they've done and you break them. Okay? You don't need to be racist or sexist or whatever. Okay? You break them as the, a person. <laughs> no, no, no. The only person I genital shame is my friend because we're friends I would never genital shame because someone said say say they have a small pee pee um, I don't do that to people that I don't know personally and I'm not friends with because I try to like stop genital shaming or whatever so the only person I do that with is my close friend who is okay with that whoa pretty just taking, showing you guys some of the fossils I found. We love a non-derogatory baddie. Yes, genuine insults only. Mom's owned. Cool. Exposing their bigoted wiki weakness. Oh yeah, and whenever someone says like that's gay, I just say silence hetero. <laughs> and the and like their first reaction is <gasps> and I'm like, "Oh, but I thought everything was okay to say. So if you're going to say that, I'm going to say silence hetero." 
or a silence breeder. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they never expect is the deep psychological warfare when they say oh this is like a free speech zone I'm like oh it's a free speech zone so we're allowed to say whatever we want I see oh 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 you think you can say the n-word I'm gonna make you regret that oh we're gonna regret that and soon Oh, oh, the rules have changed. <laughs> they don't like that, because they've never... The thing is, when people say, oh, that's gay, like, as a something derogatory, is the fact that they've actually really genuinely never experienced what it's like to have something similar be said to them. So when you say silence hetero, they're like <laughs> Me? The target of a joke? Why? <laughs> and suddenly <laughs> things have changed. can't just like leave it there? I don't know about that. So it's a tool. Hmm. I would prefer to be able to leave it there, but that's okay. I'm gonna go climbing the stairs. I need a hat that says silence hetero. <gasps> Blue butterfly. Oh, now I can get different fish, I hope, that, that are up here. <laughs> Flesh bags make me feel insecure. What? <laughs> For science flesh bags really digs deep. <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know. <gasps> Maybe I can get a fish from up there. I wonder if a different type of fish will show up. different. Oh well. Butterfly is that? Do I have it already? Oh yeah, I do. Hmm. 
Even the animation for the ladder is so cute. Agree. Wow, the little vaulty pole lasts a long time. I wonder if it ever wears down. These flower wreaths are gonna be so darn cute. Agree, Cake Monster 99. Agree. Oh dear, pardon me. Do I have a look around? No rush, take your time. A rare fossil we have not yet to have in our collection! Please! Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ahem, um, yes, the Spinosaurus was a very large, carnivorous dinosaur roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike its more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seem to have spent a greater deal of time in water. A great deal of time in water. Similar to the modern crocodiles, this creature lived in a on a diet of fish and land-dwelling land animals. Personally, I'm simply relieved it did not seek flying prey. And that is what I have to say about that. I hope tonight I'll dream of the beauty of this game. Yesterday I had a really bad nightmares. Oh, I'm sorry you had nightmares. That sucks. That has to be hard sometimes. gonna put some of my clothes away and put on my new tile flooring. Eh. This one's more homey and warm feeling. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's there. Oh, you can hang clothes on the wall. I'm gonna put it in storage. I feel like my room's coming together really well and I'm very happy about that. Hmm. 
I want to collect insects, but they belong outdoors. You can always collect dead ones. Like, if you find a dead insect outside, you can find a good one. There's, and then you can keep them, like, in a case or something. I don't know. Taxidermy butterflies would be cool. You guys remember the crystallized beetle I got that I licked? <laughs> That's right, I licked it. Ooh, a water pump. That's cute. <gasps> Cherry speakers? Yeah, I like that. Oh, gotta make that. I need white ones and orange ones. Oh! Ta-da! Yatta! Oh, I need one more white flower. Let's see if I can find one. Hmm. Well, I can find more later. Let's go ask Tom what should we do next. to build furniture for all of them. Okay. Um, I think I did a good amount of streaming today. 